hello guys welcome back to my channel if you're new on my channel my name is stella i am an education and lifestyle youtuber i make videos from nigeria and um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel kindly click the subscribe button it is the red button down there below and if you want to get notifications whenever i make new videos kindly click the bell right next to the notification button and you will get notifications whenever a new video pops up on my channel so guys thank you very much for your support thank you for your lovely comment in my previous uh, video my previous vlog where i showed you guys my pregnancy photo shoot thank you for your lovely comments in today's video i'll be doing something really special something i haven't done or maybe i did in a different way in my previous videos today we'll be featuring someone really very special on this channel she is um, an educationist she has um she's very passionate about education she is a literacy teacher and she is also an, um, the owner of an ngo called teach for change she is very passionate about education in nigeria and we'll get to know more about her in this um love wonderful video we're going to be doing together so join me in welcoming jennifer <laughs> <laughs> hi, hi, so please she has a very wonderful accent by the way she's jennifer melife so you figure out the relationship accent. yourself and um please pardon me some of you said i have um, a very funny accent she has a better accent i don't know what accent that is so <laughs> So just bear with me and um, take it away. It is. So you need to be very loud, Chine. So you're welcome to my channel. I call her Chine. Please, for this video, you are Jennifer. Jenny. Ah, I mean, whichever. <laughs> okay. Them. Okay. So welcome to my channel. Thank you. Happy to be here. Hey, yes. guys. Yeah. Probably the first time I'm being featured on a YouTube channel. Yes. So I'm oh, wow. Of, um, <clears throat> excited, nervous. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't be nervous. We are family here okay so we just want to talk briefly about um should i say education in nigeria mm -hmm. i'm also passionate about education in nigeria but there's a whole lot you've been doing lately about um, teachers or about teaching generally and it has been um would i say it has been going viral kind of you've been you've even won a very special award i, I may sure, not be able to explain actually. properly yeah some award that has to do with them um, that is in the UK, blah, 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 like that. But yes, you're very passionate about teaching. You want teachers in Nigeria to just be distinctive, to be distinguished, right? Mm -hmm. So considering how the uh, education, the basic education system, especially, I mean, the primary education system in Nigeria is going, um, for me, I would say that we are, we are doing, we are not doing well at all. I want you to just tell us briefly what you think in your opinion and from your experience is the problem is what is going wrong and what do you think we can do or what solutions can be preferred to make our ed basic education system better so um, okay yeah. i mean first of all i'd like to say i actually teach secondary not primary oh, and, oh um, sorry about that yeah um but then regardless it's not just the primary education fine, fine. It's transcends that um, there's, if you ask me what the problem is with education in Nigeria, I would say it's a curriculum, right? Um, <clears throat> there's so much to be done as it relates to curriculum in Nigeria. Um, um, our scheme or the curriculum or the scheme of work syllabus is largely redundant, and I'm going to be specific with the area that I teach yes, because I can't speak for fine. other subjects. Mm -hmm. I teach literature and English. Mm -hmm. And um, then there's, there's a complete redundancy when it comes to the teaching of that subject. There's hardly any kind of uh, teachers who don't know the strategies that they need to teach that subject effectively. So you're teaching a book or a novel or a poem. Beyond writing notes on the board, say you're teaching kids um, theme or setting or whatever it is, characterization. So beyond writing the notes on the board, how can kids on their own figure out what the theme of a book is without a teacher saying it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So when it comes to teaching, and, and, and this problem, unfortunately, doesn't um, it's not peculiar to literature. 
we 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 do not teach critical thinking. Yes. We do not teach mm -hmm. kids to ask questions. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I don't know if it's a thing about the Nigerian society or African society where we don't let kids express themselves because you're like, don't you have respect? Exactly. So when you hear a child talking to an adult in a setting where people are like, what is wrong with you? Exactly. Don't, we don't ask questions so like that. So the kids become scared. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it kind of happens in our classrooms where you have a kid. We, we, we do not teach kids to question things. Mm -hmm. We, I don't know if it's because we do not have teachers who know these things themselves or that we have teachers who know these things but they don't know how to, to express, like pass it on to the students. Mm -hmm. So you have a teacher who would be in the classroom teaching, um, I like to talk about my field because that's what I teach. Right. Mm -hmm. So you're teaching for say poetry and you want to teach the thing. But what we do instead is write on the board exactly the theme of this poem mm -hmm. and you're writing all the notes <laughs> and the kids are copying the notes mm -hmm. and then it's time for exams the kids read the notes they take everything to their memory and they give it all out and they come out first and then the, the student comes out excelling <laughs> but how does a child arrive at the theme of a poem without a teacher actually telling the child mm. this is the theme of the poem? That is a problem. Mm -hmm. And all of this is embed, um, embedded in curriculum. Mm -hmm. So I think we, we, we need a total, um, what's the word, overhauling of the Nigerian, of the Nigerian. education system. Mm -hmm. we, need, we need teachers who are, re because of course, this, there are teachers who try to go above and beyond. Okay. I know a couple mm -hmm. of them. Mm -hmm. and, and I think um, we actually need to sit down as teachers and ask ourselves, why are we doing this job? What do we intend to pass on to kids? How can we truly teach to understand? How can we truly teach to learn, teach to think? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. there's a term, there's a particular line that I like to use. How can you teach to transfer? Mm. So then the child is learning literature, the child is learning mathematics, the, the child, child is learning chemistry. Exactly. Regardless of the subject, the child is learning. What? How can they adapt that in the real world outside the classroom all of this is curriculum mm -hmm. and so for me because i'm very passionate about the teaching of literature i decided to find um i founded um an organization called teach for change nigeria mm -hmm. and what i do with teach for change nigeria i write curriculum for the um nigerian texts that have been studied for the Y curriculum mm -hmm. and i have um i have like a platform Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, okay, especially on WhatsApp, where I have one-to-one -one interactions with about 70 teachers of literature, literature in and outside Nigeria. Okay, And what we do is to come together, talk about the issues as it relates to teaching the subject and how to solve them. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I write practical teaching guides for mm -hmm. the books on the YA curriculum. And I wish maybe if many more teachers, especially those who are passionate in other fields, can actually sit down and think about ways of being creative in teaching this subject, beyond mm -hmm. writing notes on the board. It's important to encourage kids to ask questions, regardless mm -hmm. of what we're teaching. Mm -hmm. So if every teacher in Nigeria can actually sit down and begin to teach kids to ask questions, to do all of this, I think we would have a better quality of education than we have in Nigeria. And I'm not just talking about our private schools or our international schools. We need to go back down to the public school schools. education. And mm -hmm. that is why I'm a big uh, fan of what Teach for Nigeria does mm -hmm. by um, training young people to teach in schools that otherwise would not have such teachers. But again, the problem is how can you have a passionate teacher teach in a public school where or even in private schools where they are not being valued or paid exactly. so the few passionate people you have might not want to be in such um, yes. areas yes so it's what it is and it's a lot of problems but, mm. but what i always say i i do not teach in a public school but i get to work with public school teachers mm. so beyond the position you occupy i think it's important to we'll do like outreach programs mm. we have teacher events where we can have teachers from across the country regardless of the school where you teach mm. learn certain things and if it's possible for free because you have some professional development professional development is one way of um, in create, um, um enhancing the quality of teachers oh, okay yeah but then sometimes they cost so much that teachers who, teachers will not get their salary paid in some public exactly schools, you know for months. exactly so how can you <laughs> then have the little money you have and you want to go um get uh what's it called public development for 10,000 or 15,000, even 5,000. <laughs> so it's important to have, if we have more organizations, which is what I do with my website, my WhatsApp group, teachers need, we need to help each other. You know, if you yeah. think you have that knowledge, pass it on. Yeah. I know you want to pay for it, but it's important to like be 
share knowledge, yeah. help the other teacher, and if each teacher keep helping um, the, the other, other, I think at some yeah. point we'll get there. Yeah, yeah. So can we just say that curriculum development? Curriculum, curriculum development. development. Yeah. You said we need a total... We need an overhaul. Uh -huh. We need a total overhaul of the Nigerian curriculum, right? Yeah. Okay. And also... Would I also say um, the government or whoever? Yeah, I mean, pay. when it comes to teacher salary, yeah, and things like that. There needs to, there, need, there, there has to be um, an improvement yeah. on teachers' salary. That way, their passion and will can be, be more committed. Exactly, they can be more committed, and those who are passionate about teaching will when remain in the teaching profession yeah. and not go in there and then run away because after a while. Of course, you need to pay your bills. Yeah. Teaching so pay you, your, your NGO is Teach for Change, right? Nigeria. Teach for Change Nigeria. Yeah. So for teachers who are watching my video, I know I have teachers watching my video, and also for my friends here who know teachers who teach literature or even who teach any subject. I will just um I'm going to write drop the link for the Teach for Change platform right on Instagram and Facebook. I'm going to drop the link in the description box or I will just write it down here, whichever one, but you're definitely going to see it. So you can just go through and see how it's going to be helpful to you or to any teacher out there. Yeah, and just so, quickly add, especially for teachers of English and English literature. And literature. We have a teacher prize called TLCN teach for, um, oh. Teacher Prize for Literature. Okay. I won't disclose how much it is in cash, but then I would like you to keep an eye on the website and perhaps her, her YouTube channel yes, too. Yes, please. So you can um, know about this and when it's out, you apply and if you're if you're lucky to be one of the winners or the winner, you walk away with a lot of prize and recognition. Mm. Yeah, because um, my, my platform has um, quite a good recognition, especially yeah. with the British Council in the mm. United Kingdom. <clears throat> And yeah, we recently got shortlisted for yeah. the English language. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Mm -hmm. the, yeah, so so congratulations on that, you. by the way. Yeah. So now I want to be a literature teacher. I mean, it's it's an amazing experience. <laughs> so we're very proud of you. Mm -hmm. We're very proud of my friends and I. We're very mm -hmm. proud of what you do thank for you. education in Nigeria, and we're really wishing you the best. Yeah. And thank you very much for coming to our channel. Yeah, thank you. I mean, I would have loved to say much, but my time. Yes, she has so much to we'll say, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> we'll do this again. So thank you very much, Jennifer, for coming to my channel. I have made a very long video, guys, but um, I would say that it's a very interesting and very educative video. I wish you guys would watch till this point. So for those of you who have got it to this point, you are the real MVP. You are the real Stella fans. <laughs> So guys, let me end it here. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, kindly click the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, I don't know what you're doing. Please click that subscribe button right now <laughs> so that the ministry can be moving to the permanent site. Yes. And kindly drop me your lovely comments. If you have questions based on what we have talked about or you have your suggestions, drop them in the comment section. I will go through them. And if we have to drag her back to this channel to answer the questions, we will. We've got what it takes. <laughs> so, guys, I will see you in my next video. Bye. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>